Good afternoon. Uh, greetings, everyone. Appreciate the opportunity to share some information about how we're bringing automation and AI together, specifically within banking and financial services and around loan origination and loan closing. Uh, so I'll have a, a couple slides to share with you. And then as we go through the slide content, I also want to take you through a quick demo and show you how we're actually enabling some of the capabilities that we'll talk about today. But just uh, so my name is Mark Vinyevsky. I'm a director of AI services here at UiPath. Uh, we are, uh, you know, leading the way in terms of making automation real for many companies around the world. And probably one of our most significant market segments where we've worked with customers the most over the years has been banking and financial services. Uh, so many different challenges around different types of documents that get processed within a banking and financial services type of environment and the need and the opportunity for automation is just fantastic. So if we look at loan origination and loan closing, the reason why we're focusing in on this right now is because I think just recently Zillow estimated the total uh, market value of US property at around $33.6 trillion, which effectively is the combined GDP of the United States and, and China combined. So it's just a, a massive uh, asset base that exists here uh, on our shores. Uh, there's obviously a tremendous amount of refinancing activity and new loans that are being originated today um, as a result of the unprecedented interest rates by the federal government, uh, which is making it very attractive for uh, new home buyers, second home buyers, and, and people who have been in homes for quite some time to refinance. But there's some pretty significant drivers here, right? For banking and financial services companies, they have naturally a very large volume of increased activity as a result of this, this driving force that's existing in the market today. So there's a, a large number of loans requests that are coming in, a vo huge volume of documents that need to be processed throughout that whole spectrum of originating a loan, closing a loan, and then servicing a loan. So not only do we need to respond to that increased loan volume, but we also have to still address things like on the servicing side, bad loans or credit default risk management and being able to better predict when will we have a defect and who's likely to have a defect or default uh, so that we can effectively mitigate it or help a customer you know, get onto a payment pathway that basically allows them to continue to remain viable and mitigate the potential for a, a, a bad loan within the portfolio. Um, and so we do this on a risk adjusted basis, right? So. Uh, by using the data that's available to us that exists within the documents about uh, the process itself, we can actually use that data to basically then determine the probability of default, determine the probability of risk within the portfolio, and then take mitigating action, again, to be able to, to keep uh, customers on a good path. So in terms of this unprecedented uh, loan volume, uh, we still have to maintain a really good customer experience. So. Uh, customers are expecting and demanding uh, as quick of a response as possible in terms of what loan do they qualify for at what rate and according to what type of product. Uh, when they make their documents available from proof of identity to proof of address and proof of income, proof of assets, how quickly is the, uh, you know, the bank able to be able to respond and provide some visibility into whether or not the loan will be available, what the closing date is, and what the remaining actions are to be able to get to close. So uh, one of the most significant challenges that exists here is just the volume of documents, right? Um, so everything that I just mentioned from proving my identity and knowing your customers, so supplying my driver's license or my passport, uh, proof of, of my address and residency might take place in forms of a utility bill that I provide. I provide my proof of income and proof of assets in the forms of maybe my W-2s or my page, uh, my payment stubs from my employer. Uh, this is a massive volume of documents and within those documents, a massive volume of data that we need to be able to extract from those documents. And a real ripe opportunity for taking automation, which is robots so that can effectively then process these documents and use now artificial intelligence and machine learning to intelligently extract that data from those documents it, to be able to make it easier to get the data out and be able to ultimately process uh, those documents. So what we have today now is the combination of automation, which is available through our RPA platform 
and AI, which is available through AI fabric and document understanding to effectively bring these worlds together. The benefits of automation with robots that can work 24 by seven and, and respond to a large volume of different types of documents that come in as part of the loan origination process, using machine learning to intelligently extract the data from a wide range of structured, semi-structured and unstructured documents and effectively then landing that data into a taxonomy and a data format that can effectively be used by the backend loan uh, origination systems and loan management systems that exist within the bank. And so, you know, what we're shooting for are these primary business outcomes. Why we want to reduce the time to close, reduce the time to a decision. So we're effectively increasing the velocity with respect to how quickly we can get the documents that we need from a customer, extract the data, and effectively make a decision about the loan and the loan product, and then put a closed date out there that we know we have a high probability of being able to close while effectively reducing risk and looking at the potential for fraud uh, within that uh, base of requests that come in, and then effectively ensuring that we're providing a better customer experience. We're providing the customer with an update with respect to the types of documents that we need to get to close, the type of data that we need from the customers and where there's discrepancies in terms of what has been provided to date and what's still needed uh, from the customer to be able to get to close. So it's a fairly uh, complex type of environment, right? We've got naturally the loan originators uh, who are actually originating the loans and generating all the data and documents that they need to effectively close the loan. Uh, the same loan originator may also be the loan servicing company, or we may actually sell off uh, those loans to other loan servicing companies that effectively then manage the loan portfolio and the variety of payments that come in over the lifespan of the loan. We have the title companies that are generating and guaranteeing the property title uh, to the underlying property that's being uh, you know, placed against a loan. And then we have uh, state and local governments who validate uh, you know, the legal entities if the loan's actually going to an LLC or to an LLP as opposed to an individual. Uh, we may need the bylaws or the articles of incorporation of that particular entity to be able to validate it and know that it's a going concern. Uh, or the individual, obviously, in terms of driver's license and passports and knowing, uh, you know, the person who's actually signing the document itself. Uh, employers also validate things like, uh, obviously, employment uh, start dates and uh, current wages and income. And then we have a variety of other uh, types of companies that come into play here. So lots of different moving pieces and parts within the ecosystem and a lot of data that gets exchanged between these parties as well. Uh, so when we think about this from a, a maturity perspective, there's, you know, level one, which is essentially a swivel chair operation. So we get a document in, we're looking at one screen and we're manually scraping that document and rekeying that information into another screen into a backend system. Low level of maturity, hard to be able to scale on that type of platform. It's not leveraging the benefits of automation or AI. Whereas as we increase the level two, level three, and level four, this is where we start to unlock or open up some new doors. We're using robots to be able to ingest the documents and begin the intake process of taking data from those documents and putting it into a standardized type of format and putting that data into various backend systems for loan decisioning and uh, the actual closure of the loan itself. All the way up to level four, which is we now use this data and we feed machine learning models that are predicting the probability of a closed date, forecasting the volume of new origination requests that will come in, or we're using AI to be able to actually detect fraud within our servicing base to be able to know whether or not we've got some fraudulent payments uh, or even a fraudulent request that comes in for uh, a loan itself. Uh, so there's a lot of different types of capabilities that we're leveraging here uh, from an AI perspective uh, to be able to address this diverse document set of, again, structured content, semi-structured content, unstructured content. Uh, we also have documents that still have handwriting on them or signatures and check boxes. So we can use the capabilities of our platform to be able to resolve all these different features with the documents so that we can get the, you know, the primary task, task done which is to get the data out of the documents and be able to effectively uh, process it the way that we need it to. And so 
RPA and AI are really well suited to solve this problems because robots can effectively scale up and you know process documents day in and day out, uh, 24 by seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And AI provides the additional capability of being able to extract a variety of di data from documents regardless of the form or the template or where that data actually exists within the document itself. So uh, just as a visualization, you know, here's an example of the intake process where we have the customer making the original loan request on a 1033 loan application. Uh, we receive the real estate contract. There's a bank note that gets generated. There's an assessor who goes out to be able to assess the value of the property and compare it to other uh, you know, subject properties in the area. There's county property track, uh, records. There's title policies, the deed of trust. And then ultimately, when we finally close a loan and we transfer from the guarantor to the guarantee, uh, we have the final title policy and the recorded deed uh, with the local county or um, you know, the authority that manages the deed for the property itself. So lots of different data across a lot of different documents that can, again, be very structured, like a loan application to something that is fairly unstructured, which is the assessor's report or a title policy or recorded deed uh, as an example. So, uh, and then along the way, naturally, we have to do things like prove the identity of the individual, validate things like incomes and assets, or look at letters of explanation that maybe address gaps of employment or some type of change where somebody has moved from you know, one state to another state. Um, and we need to be able to understand, you know, what's some of the reasoning behind that. So again, here we use the benefit of different machine learning models, as well as form extraction capabilities to extract a variety of data from these different types of documents to effectively, uh, you know, achieve the outcome. Prove that somebody is who they say they are, validate their income and assets, understand letters of explanation, and carry out the process to be able to get to a closed loan. Additionally, uh, there's a lot of data that we extract out of the documents that we can use to do things like calculate the loan to value or calculate debt to income ratios, effectively helping to pre-qualify the loan, identify the type of loan product that is suitable for the customer and effectively begin the underwriting process itself. So the documents are important, but really the data that exists within those documents is even more important because it allows us to be able to do these additional tasks that effectively uh, allow us to get to the end state, which is a closed loan. So from here, um, you know, just as an example, and I'll actually show you uh, an actual document that we process on the platform today, more form-based, but here's an example of different titles or deeds of trust where you have a lot of unstructured data or data that exists within a wide range of templates from different types of companies that generate these title documents or, uh, you know, deeds of trust. Uh, you can see that we have machine learning with a highlighted text is able to go in and identify specifically the data that's required from these documents without having to actually go and template each of these individual documents separately. So we actually train a machine learning model to target specific data entities within the document, and then it can effectively then extract those data entities, conform them to a standardized taxonomy, and then a robot can take that data and generate Excel spreadsheet, or it can generate a JSON document that maybe goes to a backend system for further processing, as an example. And then finally, you know, data is the most important aspect of this process. When we get that data out, we can do more advanced uh, type of tasks on the platform as well, like credit and risk scoring, uh, so that we can effectively then determine the probability that uh, you know a particular type of loan might default and forecast when. Uh, so that the appropriate measures, again, can be taken to be able to mitigate that um, and effectively keep the loan portfolio in a healthy state. So from here, uh, additionally, you have data that can be used to do things like fraud detection, being able to look at you know, data within a document or across documents. Are they the same parties that are signing those documents? Do the signatures match? Do we see completeness across the document uh, base uh, that's been presented to us? And are there any types of anomalies within those documents so that we can effectively then score the individual documents or score the loan request from an overall fraud perspective as well? So if we look at this process and we think about, again, back to that maturity model, if we're doing the swivel desk uh, 
or swivel chair type of operation today behind the desk where we're taking some data from a document, manually extracting it and rekeying it back into a backend system. There's a lot of human effort associated with basically taking that data out of a document and putting it into a backend system with the benefit of machine learning and artificial intelligence in RPA, we can introduce a robot who performs that same task and can do it effectively with human assistance. So if the machine learning model is unable to resolve certain type of data within the document, we can actually have the robot engage the human in the process to be able to validate the data from the documents, correct the data if necessary before it flows to a backend system, the key there is that we can actually take that human validated data and we can feed it back into the model to retrain it again so that the need for human intervention is reduced over time and then the, and the degree of automation naturally increases as a result. So I'm not going to unpack all the different types of documents that are presented here, but I think across uh, origination and closing, there's probably at least you know, 25 to 30 primary documents that effectively get processed. So here we can use a combination of form extraction or intelligent form extraction that can resolve things like handwriting on documents or checkboxes on documents. We can use machine learning and artificial intelligence to take semi-structured or unstructured data out of documents. So it really provides on one single platform the combined capabilities to effectively address all the different types of documents that are presented in the origination and the closing process and effectively extract the data out from those documents so that we can do things like the debt to income calculation, the loan to value, and increase the velocity to get to the close event itself. So I'm gonna demo something here real quick. I wanna show you on the platform itself how easy it is to basically process a document. So I have an example. This is a very structured document. Uh, you're probably familiar with it. It's a standard closing disclosure document. It describes all the details about the loan terms, the projected payments, the, the period of the loan, whether it's a 15 year or a 30 year or something else, uh, all the costs of closing that are required, the cash to close. We have all the closing cost details, which show effectively the debits and the credits uh, across the loan, uh, as well as uh, the individual fees to the title and the insurance companies and what's required by the, uh, the uh, person who's requesting the loan to effectively get to close. Uh, so this document, again, is a fairly structured form. Uh, we can actually use the platform to extract this data intelligently. So I have a robot that I've already set up. Uh, it's basically looking in a directory where maybe one or thousands or tens of thousands of these forms might be uh, you know, uh, sitting for me to be able to process. A robot can effectively process each one, uh, just iterating through the document, extracting all the data in a structured format. So what you're seeing here is our validation station solution. This is effectively what a human would see um, if we had a human watching what the robot's doing. Uh, the, with the closing disclosure document, you see all the data is effectively highlighted in here, including whether or not the checkboxes have been selected, all the table data, within the, uh, you know, the table structure of the loan closing details are included as well. Uh, so we effectively can extract all the data elements. And then over to the left, we have a standard taxonomy for this document. So we can take all this data from the document and structure it into a standardized taxonomy and then automatically make it visible to the human to be able to validate is what I'm seeing on the document the same as the data that's been extracted. And if any correction is required there, I can actually manually update that data here before it goes to a backend system. And then I can save this document that a robot will effectively then take the data and do something like generate an Excel spreadsheet from that data, which is represented here, is an example of the table data that's being pulled from the document. And then each of the tabs below contain uh, various other data that's actually described within the form itself. So. It's a simple way for a human to see it in an Excel spreadsheet. Naturally, a robot's probably going to generate that data, put it into a JSON format, move it to a backend system, make a service call, or uh, you know, put it into an uh, ETL environment for that data to be loaded to a core backend loan origination system. So that's a really simple example. Uh, additionally, with the benefit of machine learning, uh, we have either uh, on-premise or in a cloud environment. 
a new uh, capability on the platform uh, by the name of AI Fabric, which allows machine learning models to be trained and deployed and then made it easily accessible by an automation um, and within a workflow. So here's an example of uh, my AI Fabric environment, uh, pre-trained an email classifier model. Uh, this would be an example of a robot that's monitoring an email box where all of these documents are coming in throughout the day and throughout the night. Uh, the robot's actually trained with this machine learning model to, to be able to detect whether or not the document's coming in for a customer that's already originated a loan, it's a new loan request, and be able to identify what type of document is actually being presented. Is it the uh, proof of identity or proof of income, a W-2 or a pay stub that's actually attached to the document so that the robot then knows which model to effectively go and invoke to be able to extract the data from that document and then what format that data should actually conform to uh, when the data extraction task is completed. So uh, this is a really scalable type of capability and again, complements our uh, you know, form capability on the platform so that you can process a lot, wide range of documents that don't have a consistent form, uh, even where the data varies quite a lot. Uh, this is the AI fabric capability that allows these various machine learning models to, to run and be accessible by an automation. And so I'll just close it off here because I think I'm up against time, but I want to show you a simple in the workflow, uh, invoking a model or extracting the data. Here's an actual workflow within UiPath Studio. You can see here, we just set up a workflow. We drag and drop elements here and to be able to load a taxonomy for that closer disclosure document. We digitize a document with OCR, and then we use a form extractor capability to go in and actually extract the data from the document and, and conform it to the taxonomy. And when a human is required, we present that validation station, which I presented uh, previously, where a human can validate the data being extracted by the robot and then ultimately uh, take the final results and then store them uh, within an Excel spreadsheet as the example uh, that I presented. But so that's an overall view. Again, uh, just kind of you know looking at one particular asset of the loan origination and closing process, but essentially what you have here is a very scalable platform for automating it, as well as using the benefits of machine learning to be able to intelligently extract data from a wide range of documents uh, that are presented in this particular type of end, end scenario. So with that, I'll pass it back over to Ron, 